Lots of my career shifts and changes center around my three children. I had just come back from a very short maternity leave with my second, Aiden. My executive assistant said to me, a call came in from the White House today and they'd like you to call them back. And at that time that I got the call, I was working at Bank of America. I was managing the technology and operations for the fraud unit for the bank. The president wanted to see new faces, new names, new types of resumes, more minorities, and more women. I had the honor of being offered the job and said yes, and my family supported me every step of the way. I commuted every week for two and a half years back and forth between Charlotte, North Carolina, to Washington, D.C. Um, for the honor of serving. One of my earliest memories around getting exposed to technology was actually in high school. So we were at Quantico Marine Corps Base in Quantico, Virginia, and my dad was the crew chief for HMX-1, which is the Marine Corps helicopters. And I remember we had a required course. I was attending a Department of Defense school. The required course was computer programming. During our high school breaks, I worked at the Marine Corps Exchange, which is kind of like a shopping mall, if you will, on a base. During the breaks, we did get an opportunity to program discounts and tickets that would go on the retail merchandise within there. And so you'd sit upstairs and you'd code on the mainframe and then the tickets would print out and then you'd go downstairs and put on the inventory. So that was really kind of my first foray into technology. So I always say I'm so fortunate that cybersecurity and fighting cybercrime is a career that found me because growing up, one of the first things my family did was actually enlist in the service. So I've had this long lineage of not just the men, but also women in the family who have served in law enforcement, who have served in the U.S. military. And what's interesting about it is that both my sister and I who have ended up in cybersecurity and we're both so glad that we have, I ventured out on a journey of, you know, I'm gonna do expert systems development, artificial intelligence, and cutting edge technology. But where I ended up was exactly where I was meant to be, which is you know, protecting and defending and serving, obviously as a civilian, but serving in kind of the, the bigger fight of fighting cybercrime. Mm -hmm. 